Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, January 29th, 2010. This morning I wanted to go through a tool that's very useful when you're trying to interface with COM objects, whether they be ActiveX controls you want to embed or just COM objects you want to drive. And to do that I'm going to show you a tool that comes in when you load the COM stuff. So to get that you need to go to the Parcel Manager. And once that's in, if you just want the COM code, you can go down to Platform Connectivity, select COM All and load it, which I've already done here. Or you can go down to Directories and selecting COM in here, you can load the ActiveX stuff. And that's what I've done. I've loaded all the ActiveX components, which in turn loads all of COM. So I'm going to leave that aside. I've already got an image built with all of that in it. So to browse the COM interfaces, what you do is you go to Tools, COM, Browse Automation Classes. And then this gives you a standard four pane browser, but instead of Smalltalk classes, this is reflecting off what's actually installed on your Windows system and shows you everything that's there. So give something that I've got here on this system that'll allow me to do a little bit of demonstration. I'll go down here to the iTunes type library and I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down to iTunes app. This is the actual iTunes application installed on the system. And if you right click here, you get a couple of options. Create and inspect is the interesting one. What this is going to do is give me an inspector on the actual object on the Windows system and you'll notice that it just fired up iTunes over here and I'm getting a little dialogue about it not being the default audio player but I'm going to leave that alone so I'm going to push whoop, that's full screen let's take that down let's push this aside for a minute because I want this inspector visible and then I want this to be visible over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a library so that it loads it into memory I don't actually have anything on this Windows machine everything's over on my Mac and then I'm just going to scroll down, pick one of these screen uh, podcasts here. And then what I'm going to do is go into this inspector. And this actually shows me the interface to this. So if I scroll down here, you notice that I can send it messages like next track, it'll skip a track. If I go down to play, it'll pause or play. So I can do things like this, self, play. It's assuming I could type and it'll go ahead and it'll start driving it. So it's going to tell me that this message doesn't exist because this is not a small talk message. It's a message the iTunes application understands. And there it is. You can see the little indicator showing that it's playing. And if I were to go ahead and say self stop and go ahead and send that, you'll notice that again that turns off. And I can do things like self next track. This is again assuming that I could actually spell stuff. So, self, next track, and let's do that. Proceed past it, and you notice that it skipped down. So you can drive an existing application on Windows using this little tool, but it's not that you'd want to use this tool in an application. It's that this is an exploratory tool. So I'm going to do is close this inspector, and I'm going to close this down. Now what you can use this tool for is to explore things. So, for instance, one of the things I did when I was doing a demo recently at these uh, little events that we did in Baltimore, Seattle, and Toronto was I was using the QuickTime control and this is how I actually discovered the API that it understands. I went into this tool and discovered, well I can send URL and the Smalltalk syntax for that is set URL. So once I embedded my ActiveX control into my window with the QuickTime player I knew that this API would throw an URL at it and start loading it into the player whereupon I could then just hit the play button right in the embedded control. So this is how you discover what the API to tools that you've already got installed on your Windows system are without having to go and hunt down documentation on MSDN or on some vendor site. Now it's not to say that you can't go and look for that stuff and it might be valuable. It's that you can reflect off what's actually installed and get a quick look at what's actually going on. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small.